This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Tundra. It is a 2012 Toyota Tundra. Um, it is a 5.7 liter rear wheel drive. It's an SR5 with a TRD off-road suspension package. Obviously, it's a crew cab. It has 112,013 miles, low miles for a 12. Um, it was a dealer trade-in to the big two Toyota uh, of Chandler dealership. Um, bought it what a week ago and my son and I went up there on Saturday a couple days ago and drove it home and it runs great I drove it personally uh, great running truck 85 the whole way uh, we brought it here did our inspection it needed nothing except a detail um, its only flaws are uh, it lived in Phoenix so it's got some sun damage we were thinking about painting the hood and the roof but we thought, you know what, somebody's going to want a truck. Paint's not going to really matter. This thing runs great. That's all they're going to care about. Um, so you've got the faded clear coat, hood, and roof. There's a couple little things going on around it. It's a truck. If it doesn't sell quickly, which it will because we're going to price it correctly, then we'll uh, spend seven or 800 bucks, paint the hood and the roof, and uh, sell it for two or $3,000 more. All right, so if you need a truck, and you don't care about the hood and the roof, this is a good one. Um, if you need the hood and roof, this isn't the one for you until we paint it. And uh, that'll translate into a much higher sales price. So that's the deal there. Well, my job in these videos really is to uh, make sure that whoever buys this gets as much information as possible and especially if you're going to ship it out of state which most of our buyers do most of our vehicles ship out of state um, when it gets to your house by your shipper you're pleasantly surprised instead of uh, unpleasantly surprised so I tend to err on the side of what's wrong and not what's right so that we don't have drama and we don't okay so uh, I see a little bit of bird poop stain there and right there but uh, the price you're paying I really don't think you're gonna care and if you care about cosmetics um, you know you could buy this truck and then fix it yourself if you wanted to but uh, I think that'd be silly 112,137 miles on the truck now it's about 110 miles from uh, Phoenix here so that's what we put on the truck There you go. There's your uh, 5.7 uh, Toyota motor. There's the stickers where they belong. The Toyota stamp here on the hood. It just tells you it's all original, which is what you want. All right, now let me show you the Kelly Blue Book on the truck. Here's the Kelly Blue Book for a uh, Tundra Crew Max, 112,013 miles. Typical listing price for this truck would be 20,846 with a range of 18.3 to 21.7, okay? Here is the Carfax. Here's the Carfax here. Um, history of events affecting this vehicle's value. So they blend the Carfax and the Kelly together and they come up with 17,110. That would be a hell of a buy, by the way. Um, let's see. All right, so it's a big two Chandler Scion getting service regularly, right? Let's see, big two, still at the same owner still. Accident report says involving left front vehicle functioning functional airbags did not deploy we didn't see anything up there so probably just bumped into something uh, we don't see any replacement parts any I don't know I don't, I don't we don't see anything so someone probably bumped into somebody in the parking lot well you got a uh, pigtail for towing stuff you got your manuals here let's see what else we got you got the 
center console. You got a USB and an auxiliary port there. Window, door locks. Okay. Window. Power plug back here, some AC vents back here. The interior on this truck is sweet. Okay, door locks. There you go. Power seat forward and back and up and down. Seat back forward and back. You got tilt wheel here, up and down, right? All right, you got mirrors. I guess I'll do those from inside. Get some AC going. It's a little warm in Tucson today. I don't think COVID's liking this too much here. We're not getting it too bad in Tucson. All right, mirrors. Out, in, up, down. Other side. Out, in, up, and down. All right. I need more of this on me. It's a little warm. All right. Let's see. Oh, that was oh that was a tilt, wasn't it? That was a tilt. This is a slide. There you go. There's your moon roof. Alright. Let's see. Lights. there all right radio oh my god that would be south of the border music all right so you got steering controls change the station with steering controls there you go there so we got the radio it's mp3 capable cd player Air is working great. Um, tow on and off. See the tow right here? On and off. Let's see what else we got going on here. Information. Not really sure what we're doing there. Let's see. I'm not sure how that works. Select. Oh, there's a reset. Setup. Sonar. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. What else? I think that that's about it. It does have uh, cruise control, which I had working at... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, 85 ish the truck runs really good let's just say that and since there are no cops are pulling people over to uh to arrest them it it, it runs good um let's see got the bluetooth phone let's see you got uh headlights you got wipers there you go all right let's go for a ride all right this truck if you come to tucson drive it home it's a really good running truck i can attest to that um, you will pay the following. You will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, um, plus a uh, city tax of 2.7% here in Tucson and a $250 dock fee. So you come here, it's your state plus our city of 2.7 and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price. There's no tax, no dock fees, nothing, just the price. Once we receive your wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, we will uh, sign it off to you, we will scan it in your online file, and we will mail it to you, all right? We even scan in the, uh, the envelope we mail it in. Um, you will have a shipper pick up the truck at our place, bring it to you, um, the title will already be in the mail before he shows up, and you'll just go to motor vehicles in your state with the title from the mail and the truck that just showed up. Real simple, if you need help with shipping, let us know, we can help. 
uh, let us know at the beginning of the transaction and we can help, okay? Um, you're welcome to do it yourself. We can help uh, from doing it all for you to doing none of it for you. Uh, just let us know. Um, deposits, $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Please make sure that you get your deposit in, all right? Like I said, we're not trying to make a fortune on every vehicle. Um, so our vehicles tend to go fast, especially Toyotas, especially Toyota trucks go really fast for obvious reasons. They're great. Um, la, 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 la. Last part of every video, and I've been saying the same thing for 13 years. I should have like a recording where I could just hit it right now. Uh, we don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a uh, fancy zip code. You just saw where we came from. We have razor wire, night vision, and cops crawling all over the place at night. And we have four employees. Uh, the auto mall has a beautiful location, uh, a lounge, uh, latte machines, uh, attendants. They've got fountains. They've got, you know, and, and they have salesmen also. <laughs> You're paying for all that stuff when you buy from them. You're paying for none of it with, with us because we don't sell any of it. We don't have any of that crap to sell you, all right? Um, they also know at the Auto Mall that if you buy a vehicle from them, like this truck, and it breaks, you're gonna bring it in and you're gonna say, please uh, give me my, uh, uh, repair my truck. And you're, they're gonna say, okay, because they've also charged you five or $600 extra in the price to fix your truck uh, before <laughs> it breaks. So. We don't do that because we're not fixing your truck. This truck is awesome. It runs and drives great. I could personally attest to it, but I am not Nostradamus. I do not know when it's gonna decide to break. Um, there's not a single vehicle in the history of mankind that doesn't break or hasn't break or won't break, okay? Um, so we tell everybody, we give you these videos, we give you the photo gallery, we give you the Carfax, we give you the Kelly. We want you to know everything that we know about the vehicle so there's no secrets and so that, uh, you know, you know who you're dealing with honest people. We are honest. Uh, this truck runs and drives great, but I'm not gonna tell you it's not gonna break. And if it breaks the day you get it, whether it's a window motor or a radio or air conditioning, which by the way is great in this truck, really nice, um, then you're gonna fix it with your money. Uh, that's part of buying a vehicle really cheap, is that you have to take responsibility and ownership of the vehicle on day one. God, this road is terrible. This is what happens when you have the wrong party in charge of the roads. And your taxes are way too high and they don't spend it on roads. God damn, that's annoying. Um, anyway, <laughs> sorry, a little rant. It's annoying. Um, anyhow, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu, I think that's about it. Hopefully everyone's healthy and who's watched this video. If you're not, um, if you've got somebody sick, prayers to you. Hopefully everything works out for you and your family. I think we're gonna be just fine. Just gotta stick it out. Zip.